let's find the area bounded by the curve x squared minus 2x plus 1 and the line y equals 4x minus 7 in under 3 minutes. Let's draw our axes and rewrite the curve like this so it's easier to plot. There's one root and it's going to be at 1. And it's a positive quadratic so it's going to come down like a smiley face. The last term of the quadratic is 1 so we know it's going to pass through here. If we draw the line 4x minus 7, we know it's going to start at minus 7. And we know it's going to be a straight line, quite steep. And if we showed this in, this is the area we're looking for. There's two points of intersection, so let's find them. Set one equation equal to the other. If we rearrange, we're going to get this which factorises nicely. We get x equals 4 and x equals 2. If we put it back into y, we get y equals 4 times 4 minus 7, which is 9, or 4 times 2 minus 7, which is 1. And that gives us the points on the graph. If I make a copy of this diagram, a bit more zoomed in, you'll see there's a trapezium. We use the trapezium formula and think about a and b, which are the two parallel sides. So 1 has a height of 1, 1 has a height of 9. And the base, which is h, is going to be 2. The distance between 2 and 4 gives us the area of 10. We've also got the area underneath this curve. That is going to be an integral. It's going to be from the x values from 2 to 4 of the curve itself. Now I run out of room a bit here, but we're going to integrate, add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power. And we're going to integrate between 4 and 2, and we're going to put 4 in first. Once we put 4 in, we're going to subtract the same thing, but with 2 in. Now after we make more room, we can work this out and find it's equal to 26 over 3. You'll notice the shaded area is the trapezium minus the area under the curve. So we take the 10 and we subtract the 26 over 3. And we get 30 over 3 minus 26 over 3, which gives us our final answer, 4 over 3.